If you want to work in the world of wildland fire but have absolutely no experience in it, it can be kind of intimidating. Wildland firefighting can be something that you see 18 year olds or 16 year olds in some case doing as summer jobs, all the way up to PhDs who dedicate their entire career to wildland fires. When I'm talking to somebody that has zero experience in the world of wildland fire, I like to break it down to these four parts. And the four different categories are gonna determine the level of education you need to get started, the seasons that you're gonna be working in, and how prevalent wildland firefighting is gonna be within your actual job. In this video, I'm gonna break down those four categories for you. I'm gonna show you where to find jobs in all four of these categories, as well as giving you some useful links to getting started in your career working with fire. This is Ecology Story Mode, the channel where I don't just talk about science, I help you get more involved. Now the first part of this equation is gonna be wildland firefighting, and this one's pretty self-explanatory. There's a fire there and you either help it burn out in a safe way or you go in there and you put it out yourself. And the second part of the wildland fire world is gonna be post-fire monitoring and restoration. For restoration, there's kind of varying levels of urgency. If there's a small fire, maybe you just wanna bring back the resources that were lost. If there's a big fire and an entire mountainside has no organic material to hold soil and there's a town underneath, that's a pretty dire situation. Third part of the equation and one that's becoming increasingly larger in the conversation is the fuels planning. Fires are supposed to burn and go their natural course. However, due to mismanagement of agricultural resources, natural resources, and urban sprawl, fires are more dangerous and more damaging to the resources than they need to be. And this part of the equation leads us to prescribed burning. Prescribed burning is essentially just wildland firefighting, except in this scenario, you plan out the fires and you have a little bit more control over them. This is a tool used for a ton of different management plans, as well as just doing general restoration of forest and maybe range ecosystems. Now, fortunately, the bar for entry on wildland Wildland firefighting is actually pretty low. All you need is a high school diploma. And depending on where you are, you need to be 18 years old, though certain areas will let you volunteer when you're 16. Major employers for this are gonna be state government and federal government, though depending on where you live, there's logging companies that take care of a lot of wildland fire stuff, especially if you're in an area that's surrounded by a lot of private property and private forests. And also on the private side, I've seen these agencies popping up, such as Dustbusters, and they supplement whatever forces the US government could put together. If you want a federal job, the place that you're gonna to wanna to go is USA Jobs. Here it can be a little bit tricky because wildland firefighter isn't actually a job category that you can just go into and apply for. A way to make your search a little bit more efficient is gonna to be to type in forestry technician and generally if you put the word fire next to it, you should be able to get a good refined search. Job postings here are not running continuously throughout the year, so a good tip is to make a saved search with some of the key terms that you want. If you wanna join a state agency, the two places that I would look are generally a Department of Natural Resources or a Department of Forestry. This really just depends on what state you're in and how they set up their websites and their different departments. Now for post-fire restoration and monitoring, you could probably go out tomorrow and find jobs with conservation cores, some very entry-level jobs like a range technician, maybe forestry technician, and get to do some immediate work with no diploma. However, majority of the work when it comes to monitoring is going to be left up to people that have bachelor's degrees and sometimes master's degrees. And this can be any sort of degree in any sort of resource. You can do anything from archeology span to recreation to any sort of natural resource specialist. Not only could you become a resource advisor on the fire line and actually be there for the fire, but after the fire's over, you're gonna be the person that looks and says, hey, is there anything that is immediately threatening a natural resource or a human resource? And figuring out what to do with those hazards. When it comes to restoration, the very upper end is gonna be bear squads, which is burned area emergency response squads. When there's a crazy huge fire in an area that's right next to a big city of some sort, this is the group that comes in and sets up all of the preliminary precautionary things that stop huge losses when it comes to natural and human resources. Uh, when it comes to the monitoring side of things, there are more specialized staff. You can be a fire effects monitor. If you wanna do this through USA Jobs, a good way to look it up is to look up 0404 and look for either fire effects or fire effects monitoring. 
because there's no real search category for this job on its own. While this position's also on the fire line, this position's generally gonna be under either an ecologist or a fire ecologist specifically. As for people that take it to the PhD level, with monitoring and restoration, there's whole universities that are funded by the USDA Forest Service that look at these things, publish papers, and help people make better management plans. And if you're gonna be on the fire line as a PhD, the answer is, if you wanna be. Fuels planning jobs are pretty much gonna use all of the same sources that the previous two have used. Titles that are gonna be significant here are gonna be anybody that does any sort of conservationist work, such as range conservation, forestry, and there's also fuel management specialist positions that you can look at here. One real difference here is that now agencies are gonna start looking at forest restoration. Now you can look at NGOs, Sierra Club, Nature Conservancy, other things in that category that have this kind of work going on. And for this work, I would say you pretty much need a bachelor's degree in a lot of cases. Uh, if you're gonna go NGO, probably a master's. Last but definitely not least is gonna be the prescribed burning jobs. Honestly, a lot of your job search is gonna be the same as those wildland jobs. The difference here is that a lot more conservation cores are gonna be involved, as well as those NGOs that are doing those fuels management projects. They're gonna start hiring on people with titles that are gonna be something like forestry management technician or forest restoration specialist or technician. But yeah, there's a lot more to the world of fire. It's clearly a huge and growing world when it comes to work. I hope this video helps you take that first step when it comes to getting involved with the world of wildfires. Comment in if you have any questions or tell me about your experiences when it comes to fire, if you're somebody that is coming from the world of fire and watching this. Any helpful tips that you have for other people that are trying to get into it. Like, subscribe, and have a nice day.